So we're doing something all wrong. Does anyone have any guesses? I was trying to think what we all do. We all brush our teeth. Mm. You know what? You're barking up the right mm. tree there, okay. Spanky. I was thinking it was something hygiene related. Uh, it is. It is. Okay. We're doing it all wrong. So you guess brushing teeth. Mm -hmm. What else? What else would include personal hygiene? Washing your face. You're getting warmer, I warmer, 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 warmer. Yes. Q-tips. No. Oh. Q-tips in the ears. But that's yes a whole. No? That's a whole other thing. You're not supposed to jam Q-tips in your ears. Yeah, right. It's torture if you don't. If you feel water, if I feel water in my ear, I'm about to. I don't know. No, you tilt your head and you hop on one foot. No, you're not. That's nice. what you do, and then it, it knocks the water out you're of your ear. You're a complete ear. idiot if you do that. Uh, well, you look pretty stupid, but it, it, <laughs> use a Q-tip. It does actually work. All right, now here's the deal. Experts are saying that it is most likely that you are showering the wrong way. We all do it. It's hygiene related. It's Roxanne taking a shower. Shower. Yep. Now, the morning shower is how most of us start the day. It's kind of like just automatic. Now, you have your nighttime bath or shower takers. Yeah. I've known several people that, do, like my grandmother, there was never a shower in the morning. Also, my grandmother had that crunchy hair that got done like once a month. Oh, uh, she didn't want to mess it up. It was like shellac. You know what I'm talking about? Like a perm? No. It, it was like the old 70, 80-year-old person hair yeah. where they go to the salon and they used, uh, I think they used actual shellac. And Wait, your grandma didn't but, wash her hair, dude? You, it was like once a month they would wash their hair. Ew. Because yeah, they would go to the beauty parlor and they would get, I'm telling you, they would get like like urethane put onto that. And you touch the hair. How and, bad did your grandma and, smell? And the hair used to. <laughs> I, mean, the hair used I think your grandma just didn't shower, dude. dude I don't remember no, that. No, all grandmas did this. Had crunchy hair and didn't shower <laughs> during a 30 no, days? No, 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 no. My grandmother took nighttime baths. Oh, I, but had that the, sounds awful, I, too. Roxanne, did you know any older people, grandmas, mm -hmm. old great aunts or, yeah. that had the crunchy beauty salon hair? Oh, gosh, yeah. My my grandma did. Yeah, Nana hel did. Hello. Yeah. Did she shower she, more than once a month? Did you even have a grandma? <sighs> Excuse me, but a, I had a nanny. I was going to say, you probably had a nona, right? Yeah. Nani, yeah. Nani. yeah, she passed away. Thanks for bringing it up. And she didn't have crunchy hair. She she had the hair of Listen, Fabio. I bet you I can go to the crunchy hair grandma phones right now, and the phones would light up. And everyone knows is that still a thing though? To the older, see, my, both my grandmothers are gone. You know, my uh, my mom's mom, uh, Grandma Minky, she lived to 92, just shy of 93. Is she the crunchy and, one? And I, man, I, I was hoping she'd get to 93, because back in the day, we were on 93. Yeah. Remember the That'd MJ Morning Show? We were on 93, and I was hoping, hey, Grandma, come on, make it to 93. And then I was saying, hey, if you just go like three months or so in, make it to 93.3. Anyway, but my-, my Now she's got to get to 104. But, point seven. Yeah, now she has to get to 104.7 years 105. old. Yeah, exactly. Now- uh, my beloved grandma Minky, she passed away at uh, 92. Oh. My dad's mom passed away at 85. They both had crunchy hair. Ugh. Is this still a thing? Or I'm telling you, I can go to the crunchy grandma hairlines right now. <laughs> grandmas don't look uh, like grandmas look like when you were young. 800. Okay. Let's go. 800 990 1047. 800. And I still got to get to your showering all wrong. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I thought I missed it. No, no, I've been talking to the texters. No, no, no. I was like, you, okay, well, you, what are we doing wrong? You haven't missed it yet. Okay. I'm going to tell this in a minute. Let me, let me load up the phones. How many people had grandmas with that crunchy beauty parlor hair? You know, where they, uh, they sat underneath the old. Yeah. Uh, the old the salon, the dryers, you know, those the dome. big, the big giant dome. It looked like some kind of mind control device. Yeah. I mean, you, they sat in those things and then they'd leave the salon and their hair wouldn't be touched for like three weeks to a month oh. and their hair was shellacked and it was crunchy. All right, come on. How many people had grandmas that had crunchy grandma hair that they didn't wash it? They didn't touch it until the next appointment at the salon, like three weeks or a month later. All right. And the other question is, do they still do this? I'm not allowed. I'm not around grandmas anymore. Do they still do the 70 and 80 year old grandmas? Do they still do the big giant crunchy grandma salon hair, where it looks like you know they they sprayed you know glue all 
All right, 800, let's go to the phones. 800-990-1047. And if you'd like to reminisce about your, your nana or your grandma's crunchy grandma hair. What about a grandma with crunchy hair right now that she could yeah. crunch for us? Oh, you know what? And if you're a grandma with crunchy hair, we want you to jam the phone into your <laughs> hair right now. And, and, uh, and we can hear... Like- we can hear oh, the crunchy noise right now. That could be a new grandma ASMR crunchy yeah. hair. Yeah, uh, that's so hot. Let's go to phones. 800-990-1047. If you had a grandma with the crunchy salon hair that they didn't wash for like weeks at a time, 800-990-1047. And I need to know, is this still a thing? Or if you work in a salon, do you still get requests for crunchy grandma hair? 800 800- 990-1047, that's how you get in. Eight, and if maybe you're uh, near your grandma, could you call us up and maybe if your grandma does have crunchy grandma hair, just take your cell phone and jam it in her head. <laughs> or maybe you're a beautician and you've actually been requested to give the crunchy grandma a haircut. Well, no, I said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just said that. Okay. Or if you work in a salon. Yeah. You get off your phone and pay attention to the show and you would have heard that. Okay, right, I, I have something I have to say and I don't want yes. you to get mad. What? Somebody in this room kind of has crunchy grandma hair. Oh, <laughs> you do! Oh my gosh! I do not have my you hair. You do! My hair is soft. There's no crunchy grandma. Okay, I don't you want, know. You want to come over here and feel my hair? No, if you tell me. No, no, no. You it's come okay. around and it's touch okay. my hair. <laughs> Run your fingers to Touch that. my hair. <laughs> You'll come out with nubs. Sniff it. I want you to say, gee, your hair smells terrific. Come on. Your hair gets I, crunchy I, there throughout I, the day. Every line has lit up here. Every line is lit up. <laughs> but let me, while we screen calls, we'll go to phones here in a second. The whole shower <laughs> deal, the, the reason we got onto this in the first place, the whole shower deal is experts are saying that yeah, the morning shower is not the way to start the day. If you do a morning shower, and I do, do you, Roxanne? I, I do definitely always a morning, but sometimes nighttime as well. Yeah, I never do a night, unless I'm like sweaty and I'm in the yard and I'm all nastied up good or whatever. Uh, I don't take a shower until the morning because that's sort of like the wake up procedure and, you know, opening up your eyes and waking up. You guys but, don't shower near but enough. The, the word here, listen to this showering in the morning could be stripping your skin of its natural oils. Oh, man. According to Sally Bloomfield, an honorary professor at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. In fact, Bloomfield said most people shower every day because it's socially acceptable and they want to get rid of body odor, but it is not medically necessary. Talks about the microbes on the skin produce nasty odors, but they're not harmful. (laughs) But if you shower in the morning... And if you shower more than once a day, you're washing away the body's microorganisms, help control oil levels. Anyway, she says, according to uh, her research, people shower more in the summer because they get sweaty and uncomfortable. uh, But there are no necessarily uh, any beneficial health uh, issues here that will help you out. People often get confused about the difference between cleanliness and hygiene. Cleanliness is what we do to look and feel clean, but hygiene is cleaning we do in order to prevent the spread of germs. Bloomfield says that there are certain times when you definitely should shower, such as before going into a swimming pool because you could pass microbes from your body onto uh, fellow swimmers. What? uh, Hand washing. But she's saying that over showering can affect your skin, make it drier, get more irritated. There is no hard and fast rule, but she says that starting your day off by removing the essential oils from your skin is not really the best thing to do. So she's saying, hey, showering, we're doing it all wrong. So maybe the the nighttime shower is the better thing to do because then you're sleeping overnight and then the oils have like a chance to regenerate. Who oh, yeah. wants to feel the oil? Dude, if I don't shower in the morning, I feel so gross. I'm just thinking of like motor oil, you know? And or sticky and like, like a Crisco or something. Look I do the, a midday shower, ice cold, just to wake up. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I do. Look, look at the phones. The grandma crunchy hair phones have exploded. Crunchy lines. Yeah, let's go to the crunchy phones right now. Let's start with uh, Shayna in Tampa. Shayna, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Do you know what I'm talking about? I sure do, because I had a grandmother that had that hair, and um, I just wanted to tell you guys, my mom is a grandma. She'll be 74 New Year's Eve, 
and she has the prettiest silver white hair to her waist. Oh, she nice. Has flat ironed. Whoa. And everyone asks when we go out if she has extensions at her age. So, <laughs> wow. yeah, do people get silver or gray or white extensions? Is that a thing? Sure. Well, we're not aware of it. We get a kick out of it because she's so she's so cool. She's hip. So she's a hip. She, she sounds she's like a hippie. A crunchy hair grandma. Uh, so no crunchy hair on your 70-year-old plus mother. Correct. It's a new generation out there. All right, so yeah. maybe crunchy hair at the salon is it's going out. What made it crunchy? The yeah. overuse of hairspray? Oh, my God. Yeah. They, they would empty like a, three gallons of Aquanet. Remember that stuff? Oh, they, yeah. They would, seriously, oh, yeah. they would empty like a barrel of Aquanet, I think, on their hair, and it, it would get shellacked. Hey, Until there was actual net of aqua on their head. Hey, uh, Shana, do you like the MJ Morning Show? I love it. I listen to you guys every day taking my kids to school. They uh, love it, too. Do me a favor. Spread the word that we're back, okay? Sure will. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. You, you too. too. Let me grab David is in home assassin. David, uh, it's the Grandma Crunchy Hairphones. Uh, you're on next. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, my mom had uh, Buffon, it was called, <laughs> style hair. Yep. And she would go to the beauty salon and get her hair done once a week, use a shower cap. or three- Oh, that's right. I for- that's, yeah. that's right. My grandma used the shower cap to not mess mm-hmm. up the shellac. Yeah, well, she probably slept with it. Right? You know what? You know what it's best described as the old, like nineteen sixties, seventies, and even into the eighties and nineties. For a lot of these grandmas, it was like a half marge. Yeah, yeah. It you know, was, what? marge had the way what? up it, one. It wasn't a full marge, like all the way up. Right. Yeah. Oh, homie. I... <laughs> are you okay. Oh my god! Hang on. Just... Oh my gosh. <laughs> a, I, marge, are you okay? To that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, one of the things that uh, was a definite drawback that happened to her is all those chemicals that uh, was used to make that hair crunchy like Oh, uh, don't tell me it gave her brain oh, cancer. Oh, wow. Extremely flammable stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. It was, uh, it's bad. Hold on, did your grandma's hair burst into yeah. flames? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait a sec. What? Your grandma's hair burst into flames? It was my mom, and she was a smoker. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what ha- like what happened? Sisters. She was just uh, a little tipsy, and she was uh, smoking a cigarette, and her ha- hair just started on fire, and it just goes up like a Christmas tree. What happened? Was she a flapper? That oh was the era back God. then. Cigarettes, alcohol, and oh, hairspray. My head is on fire. <laughs> we got a bonus hair fire out of this call. Hey, thanks for the call, David. I appreciate it. How they put it out? I got so many questions. I got they, right there. <laughs> grab, oh, thank you. Grab, grab the fire extinguisher. <laughs> he just I, says it all nonchalant. Yeah, my I, grandma's head caught on my fire. God, I was smoking my camels and my hair caught on fire. Oh my God, uh, these ashes are out of control. All uh, right, let me grab. Um, Francis in Odessa. Francis, you're on the MJ Morning Show, Q105. Hey, Fran. Hi, good morning. Morning. Calling. My mom is 94 years old, and she does not wear any hairspray. Her hair is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, you're, is she hot? <laughs> she's 94 years old. Well, she sounds... 94, she still looks really good for 94 wow. years old. Wow. That Send is me a, a picture. That's yeah. a... <laughs> what do you ask? What do you, I you, just want to see your mom take a selfie. What are you, a creeper? You I want like a picture a good, of like a, a milf? You, um, that's a gamilf. Uh, no, a gamilf. No, no, it would be. It would be no, it would be a juju milf. It it's would his, be a, it's her gra- mom. It would be a great grandmother. I'm into a like guga, a I, guga. Li- I think I have a fetish for ninety and over. <laughs> what are you kidding? Me? Stop it. <laughs> hey, that, uh, Francis, thanks for the call. That's hilarious. Thank you. Have, <laughs> All right, day. have grandma send me a selfie. No filters. <laughs> Will <you> stop it. <laughs> She's on only fans. Uh, only grands. <laughs> only grands. <laughs> Hi, Donna's in Valrico. Donna, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hello. Hi, how are you this morning? We're great. Oh, it sounds like you might have crunchy grandma hair. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a great grandmother right now. Wow. All right, so you crunching it up good? Jam your phone in your head. Let me hear it. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> no, I straighten my hair. <laughs> 
No. Right. But my grandmother. All uh, right. She, so you don't have crunchy grandma hair? No. <laughs> oh, darn no. it. All right. Thanks for the call. Let me grab Nona in Sefner. Nona, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hello. Good morning. Hey, Nona. You're up. Go ahead. Guys? We are well. Hey. <laughs> Well, let's see. I grew up, and my mother was an actual hairdresser, so I've seen every hairstyle there is and had every hairstyle there is. <laughs> and, yes, my grandmother had crunchy hair. <laughs> and what about your mother, and what about you? No? <laughs> my mom, she's 83. She is a great-grandma, and she does not have crunchy hair. She has really, really, really short salt and pepper hair. There we go. Oh, how's she look? Is I'm she hot? You know what? I think the crunchy, big, uh, yeah. shellacked up, uh, you know, three cans of Aquanet dumped on people's hair. I think those days are over. Yeah. I think they went out in the late 90s. Yeah, I think you're right. Too uh, bad. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Look at the phones. Uh, let me clear a couple more, then we got to move on. Jerry is in Dade City. Jerry, MJ Morning Show, Q105. Hello. Hey, how you doing today? Doing well. Go ahead. Hello, Jerry. All right. Um, when I was about eight, nine years old, my mom and I was going down the highway with another woman that was driving the car, and the woman decided to light a cigarette. <laughs> well, she lit the cigarette and lit her hair on fire while we're driving 70 mile an hour down Highway 301. Oh, no. <laughs> so my mom's got a newspaper and is beating her on the head trying to put the fire out while we're driving down the highway. Because this, yes, because she had so much flammable like hairspray and, and glue in her hair? It was like ghost That's riding. the only thing I can imagine. Being eight or nine years old, I had no idea why it burst into flames. <laughs> it, so it was funny to look at, but I felt bad for her. Did it go I, up like right away? Yeah, it took no time. Like a, <laughs> it must have been the hair. The I, well, were you well, able? You know, how you, take, you know how you take matches and you strike it and it flames up? Yeah. yeah. That's, kind of, that's kind of what her hair did. <laughs> it was like back backdraft. It's got to be the it was hair. Like a, like a flash. All right, now, yeah. what what happened? Was your mom able to put the fire out? or? Yeah, we she was finally able to get the hair you know, put out, but God, the stench in the car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, burnt, burnt hair is it. A... How did Grandma's mm. hair look? Was she all just burnt and bald and patchy? Uh, I'll tell uh, you uh, I'll tell you what. Now, that's something that's going to stick in an eight-year-old kid. You're never going to forget that. And I haven't. <laughs> He's probably still, mm -hmm. still smell it. That is unbelievable. I'll tell you, hey, thanks for the call, buddy. That's great. Uh, I never thought we'd be I mean, laughing. how many grandma's heads went up in flames? <laughs> uh, those things, I'm telling you, those were like, you know, a, like, like a Molotov cocktail, man. Yeah. Yeah, those texted, haircuts. I texted my mom because I remember my grandma, my nana passed a long time ago. Right. But I remember she had the tight, tight curly hair, ton of hairspray. She smoked all the time. And she, I know she started a lot of kitchen fires. And so okay. I'm like, Mom, in any, of, so normal. in any of Nana's kitchen fires, did her hair catch on fire? So My grandma I'll let you know had what a I mold. Out. Okay, all right. Hey, Luke is in, uh, where are you, Luke? Uh, Lakewood Ranchers. Hello, Luke. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hey, how's it going? Hey, is it Lakewood Ranch or Lakewood Ranches? It's actually Lakeland. Oh, oh, you're Lake in, Lamp. oh, you're in, La oh, it, you're in Lakeland? Yes. Yeah, my screen says Lake Wood. All right. Anyway, all yeah, right, Luke, go I ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, my my mom, she's uh, seventy four. Right when she gets out of the shower, she puts a L A look on her hair, the gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't even know they sold that anymore, but she got a case of that. I'm like, Mom, why do you keep putting gel in your hair? Well, she puts gel in her hair, and after when she's ready to go out, she does the curling iron, and then she puts about a pound of uh, hairspray on her. And I can actually smell it when I go into the house. I can smell it in every room. It's crazy. Uh, so she does have the crunchy hair. Luke, thanks for the call. Yeah. Right. Hey, no more calls on this. I'm just going to finish up uh, who's on hold. I never thought that the grandma crunchy hairlines were going to explode like oh. this. Kent is in Apollo Beach. Kent, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Good. I haven't knew you from a long time ago with the Mr. Kim Survivor Island thing. Oh my goodness! Oh, hold on! Oh, wow. this! Oh, this is Kent. Kent, you yeah. you introduced us to Mr. Kim. Absolutely. 
Kent, man, we haven't spoken in a long time. When, when we know. when we did the Survivor Islands, we built two <laughs> amazing tropical sets. That was crazy. In the parking lot of the old uh, MJ and BJ and the MJ Morning Show Studios, Th those were unbelievable. We built a tropical island two times, and Mr. Kim it from it was unbelievable. It was amazing. And uh, Kent, we talked about doing this, and Kent said, "Hey, I got the guy," and that's how I was introduced to Mr. Kim from uh, Ruskin. And the rest is history. I still remain friends with Mr. Kim today. I uh, can't good uh, to, good to hear from you. Go go ahead. Anyway, years ago, uh, in my younger days, I was on a date with this girl, and we were in a in a nightclub bar, and they had a candle on the table. Well. <laughs> We kind of bent over to give each other a hug, and the hair, her hairspray caught her hair on fire. <laughs> and, I mean, it went up like a torch. And so I started slapping the shit out of Oh, hang on. Hey, Kent, we can't say Kent. the, the S-word. We, we, we can't say the S-bomb on the air. I started smacking her head. Okay, that's better. Uh, <laughs> and people thought that I was hitting her. You know, they didn't know so these guys all jumped off their bar stools coming over to kick my butt, and I'm trying to explain I was putting her hair out, and finally they got to look and see. Before I got murdered, they uh, noticed that, yeah, her hair was had been on fire, and I mean seriously on fire. The whole side of her hair was gone. Oh, was she a grandma? <laughs> no, this is... She smelled like a goat the rest of the night. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, Kent, great to hear from you, buddy. Keep in touch. All right, last call on this. Jason is in holiday, and then we got to move on. We got the Kanye West update. Man, I got to be honest, the grandma crunchy uh, hair on fire phones are very entertaining today. No, hair's pretty, it's pretty dangerous stuff. I can't yeah, believe it it's still on the market. <laughs> well, just, this stuff is flammable. Take a can of hairspray and just. I used to do it as a kid in my mom's bathroom. I used to go. <laughs> With a match. <laughs> you're lucky to burn the house down. I know. Down. I can't believe I did uh, it. Jason, last call on this. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Doing fine. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. My uh, grandma, she used to bribe me to, uh, she'd buy me a toy or something, get, get me to go shopping with her. And one of the stops would be the beauty salon. And they would say, oh, you get a wash and a set. And uh, I guess they would just wash it and put that shellac on there. <laughs> and uh, and then, you know, they'd go for a, maybe a week without uh, without messing with it. Like, you know, when she went to bed, it was a, a big deal. She had to keep her head straight. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think my grandmas, <laughs> I think they got their head done like every two or three weeks. Because that thing was like a, it was like a fiberglass boat <laughs> shell. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I think it was like a week. I don't know. They went like three weeks without washing if you watch their hair. But it, old it, episodes it, of Love Boat. The... Uh, hey, uh, thanks for the call, man. Thanks, Jason. All right, last word for you. What, what about the Love Boat? I, 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 as I told you, I've been watching a lot of the Love Boat. I'm trying to watch every episode, and there's a lot of shellacked hair on that show mm -hmm. from old ladies. You're trying to watch every episode yeah. of the Love there's Boat? There's like 500 or something. No. Well, what happens after you've watched them all? I'm almost exhausted. I don't know. I don't win a prize or nothing. I just want to do it. I'm do on a mission. Do you know the actual theme song? What is it? Love. Love. Exciting and new. Come aboard. Come aboard. We're, We're waiting for you. Is that a love? Oh, hold, hold on. Oh, come aboard. We're expecting you. Expecting you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then Gopher and that one guy who was ugly but got all the girls. I never got that. And the was the bartender? Uh, did he slip Mickey's in the drinks? Yeah, or? he drugged everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Everybody. <laughs>